Hey there, wonderful people. Um, good evening from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I'm back after one week. Um, today I'll be doing a couple of videos if possible. I'll try to upload. I don't know when they're going to be uploaded. We have been going through some tough times, not just tough times, terrible times in Bangladesh. And uh, it is a crisis time. For one week or so, we were totally out of net, no net connectivity with the world. Uh, internet was shut down. Okay, So you must be seeing in uh, a lot of media whatever happened, but the reality is who we who live here in Bangladesh, we are the ones who have witnessed some of the darkest times in our recent memory. Okay, so today I'm uh, wearing my flag and I'm going to be doing the video. I'm going to show the respect to all the martyred and uh, lost uh, souls who fought for our rights you know, in Bangladesh. I salute you and uh, I would like to show my gratitude uh, being a Bangladeshi, ordinary Bangladeshi, because I represent Bangladesh. So those who work from Bangladesh, Please uh, show some gratitude to uh, your country and country mates who are there for, you know, the difficult times. So all of us are going through very difficult times financially. And I'm sorry, I'm going to a little bit time before I do the review. Hopefully you will forgive me. So I'll let you know why I was missing. Uh, but that will be a different video. But we are going through a very difficult time. So let's uh, please uh, keep us in your uh, support and prayers. Uh, keep our little country, Bangladesh, uh, in your prayers because uh, our people may need it, you know. and uh, the thing is like uh, try to support if possible in any way like if bangladesh needs any sort of support please provide us okay because our people could use it okay so i will talk about this later i don't feel like talking about this whole thing because i've been going through this trauma for last six seven days i'm not 100 percent okay in my head uh it, it it hurt us a lot you know like uh, last few days so let's do some reviews uh, because this is a fragrance channel and uh, if possible uh, try to uh, share the videos join my group Recom Bangladesh and this is my work so last seven days I could not do any work could not upload so it would be helpful also if you could support my channel and join our group Recom Bangladesh okay so the fragrance I'm going to do review I got this like uh, some 10 days back before the crisis started this is my house of Ajmal it's called aristocrat coastal okay and this has uh, two I think coastal and another one I forgot the name one for men one for women this thing is for men 75 mil and this is, I think, EDP concentration. It comes in a very nice packaging. I have done Aristocrat Men, the brown bottle. It's shape, same shape as this bottle, but that one is a little bit different, smell kind of fresh, spicy fragrance. So this one, it is uh, like this, okay? So nice box, nice, kind of like Tom Ford, uh, uh, Amouage sort of style. So nice little hard packaging. And the price on this is kind of like expensive, okay, to be honest. This was sent to me my by MMC Luxury Perfumes. Thank you so much uh, because he said, Brother Iskandar said, owner of MMC, he said, Brother, this is a new fragrance. If you don't want to buy, you can review it. You can send it back. If you like it, you can keep it and can pay. I think the price on this around uh, 50 something, like nearly $60. So it's not cheap uh, because maybe it's a new release or something. The previous one was around like $40, $45. So it's not cheap. 75 mil or 50 something. I exactly don't remember, but it is a little bit on the higher side. And the bottle looks like this it is pretty nice it is like this color and this thing it has this pattern okay and it says aristocrat and the front has ajmal logo and this is kind of like a magnetic cap really nice i think it's a shape of a mic or something okay so i have seen nixon diaz reviewing it brother nixon's review was very very good and i'll let you know my uh and he did the women's one and men's one together I'm sorry i look a little bit messy because the last seven days i literally <laughs> was not you know okay and still we are not going to be okay for a very long time so this one the atomizer works like this okay good atomizer so this thing the name is very interesting it's coastal coastal is supposed to give you a vibe of summer okay and it is a summer uh fragrance very fresh very nice uh like a breezy almost like a fragrances that you are uh, like familiar with so uh, this thing definitely is similar to something very very popular called Ganymede okay if you know Ganymede there's tons of uh, inspired fragrances for that but this is also a little bit different take on Ganymede because it's not exactly the same Ganymede, Megamere these kind of fragrances are very beast mode oceanic, aquatic, metallic, musky this one has all of that but it's something that's more wearable longevity from this is not bad four to five hours i got indoors but in high heat high humidity perhaps it would be 
maybe three hours mark okay so if you live in a less humid country this fragrance perhaps will last you uh, about five to six hours or seven hours mark but if it's high humidity this fragrance may be a little bit less the ac room it, it's doing fine so uh, who is it for it's a very masculine perfume when i smell it it does give that kind of spice in the opening the spice is kind of like spices in a fresh perfume okay like let's say something like i just give you an example it's not that fragrances clone it's not Melissa imperial's clone okay or irolfa but if you imagine irolfa sorry irolfa has a little bit of a sea breeze sort of smell which is similar to megamere in a way also ganymede in a way so ganymede is a very ultra beast mode perfume if you can afford that definitely go for it but that one is a very one direction linear scent this thing has two or three phases the opening the spice is very nice it's what kind of spices uh when i smell this it's a little bit of a citrus maybe a little bit of a bay, bay leaf okay something like think of uh, invictus if it had a spicy opening right it's a masculine spicy opening and the spice is kind of like a pink peppercorn or the you know the stuff that i said it's similar to that but the spices settle down the bay leaf settle down for me once and then maybe a little bit of a uh, i don't know i'm, I'm just guessing it's it's um, like how do i describe this it's it's a very difficult thing to describe when you smell it you'll be like oh okay it's like that right so opening 25 minutes or so it is its own opening and i think uh, ajmal give that nice little kick or variation in the opening which is setting it apart from not totally but a little bit different from the original ganymede so ganymede performance wise and price was everything is like three times more than this but for the price of this i would not complain about the performance maybe in uae if you get it later for discount 40 45 dollars it would be a good fragrance very much of a signature scent worthy fragrance like it's a very masculine perfume when you wear it when you sweat it mixes very nicely with your sweat make it a masculine smell so it is a very good complimentary warm weather setup okay and uh the thing is this fragrance is that like it is that not ultra masculine but it's a masculine smell like if you like shannon's platinum egoist you like this you know if you see the same type so i would humbly suggest test it before you buy it's not a blind buy worthy it's not one of those safe fresh fruity citrusy fragrance. it's not very citrusy not much of citrus it's a different kind of a freshy so spices a little bit of a ozonic a sea breeze uh, it's almost can be said like creed uses uh, uh, there was that called ambergris right it has a little bit of ambergris feel but definitely they did not use ambergris maybe ambroxan okay so that's what the make, make the fragrance a little bit potent but I really wish this fragrance was 100 ml. That would be perfect because I don't like small bottles. Okay. So overall, my rating on this fragrance is a very nice, decent release. And the name Coastal definitely goes with it. It's a very uh, solid fragrance release. But the price a little bit is on the higher side. I would imagine if it was under 40, 45 bucks, I would recommend it more. Okay. But if you can get it cheaper, that would be good. But price is not very high, to be honest. Like there are much more fragrances that are more expensive. Overall, I give this fragrance a 8.5 out of 10 for what it is. Okay, thank you very much for watching. We'll do perhaps one more video and then we'll upload it. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.